Um, I volunteer um, for Jago Foundation, which is actually an online program um, where I teach students um, in Bangladesh. So, yeah. I volunteer at Access Dance Incorporated. So my family and I volunteer at church. We also volunteer for um, JDRF, which is Juvenile Diabetes Association, and MADA, which is American Diabetes Association. Um, I teach a library and conversation class, so um, I'm basically teaching them a little bit more about the English language and also um, like certain aspects about um, what they need to, how they can converse with other people and stuff like that. Access Dance is basically this program where I can help out younger children with disabilities and teach them how to dance every Sunday. Um, when we volunteer for JDRF, it's generally um, the walk. We do the walk um, every year. It helps raise money for the cure. Um, we've helped with um, healthy Halloweens. Um, also, we, um, for newly diagnosed, we give away what we call Rufus, and it's a bear that um, has type 1 diabetes as well, and it shows them where they're going to get their injections, and it's a whole bag full of items for parents and, and the students, and also the, the kids with type 1, and also their siblings as well. Well, my uncle actually started this foundation, um, I think four or five years ago, and so um, I thought it would just be a great way for me to help out, you know, through my family, and that, you know, we were doing it from the start, so I could help with that. Um, I mean, I've known Mackenzie, the owner, since like seventh grade, so meeting her through other dance people, I think that that was just a nice opportunity to get to help people that don't get to dance as much as I do and as much as I love it, so it's fun. It feels good to lift others up and just brings you a joy, but um, just to see people, whether it's at church or with um, type 1 diabetes associations, just to feel that, um, just feel good about themselves and just, like I said, and feel empowered, so. Um, one time we were, um, I actually had no idea what I was going to do for like a lesson plan and so I thought okay well maybe we could play like Jeopardy with the kids or something like that and so um, I made up this Jeopardy board kind of like as, a, as an assessment to see like what the kids had learned and they had no idea what it was which is kind of funny because like everyone knows what it is here but it was really cute so they liked the game a lot. My biggest goal for Access Dance would definitely be just like having a good last year with them, like making an impression. That way, when I do go to college and I do come and visit and like volunteer when I'm like 20 and 25, they still remember who I am and can ask how I'm doing because I've seen some of these kids go from like age nine to age 13 and like I've grown these relationships, so I definitely want to keep them. Um, I just really love connecting with the kids and be, being able to, you know, talk to them and get to know them because they're just really sweet and adorable and so, yeah, it makes me happy. <laughs> I would just encourage you to um, get involved wherever you can, um, what, whatever it is. It just feels good to help others, um, like it's building each other up. Whether um, whether it's the volunteers are helping each other to build each other up, or you're building somebody else up, I just encourage people to get involved. It's it's a great cause.